Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. I could just say hello there over and over again, couldn't I? Hello there, Instagram. It's James Arnold Taylor. I gotta put, I'm an old guy. I gotta put my uh, glasses on. Got my Star Wars hat on. Star Wars weekends. Look at that. Okay. I've got uh, my hat on because I have got quarantine hair. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody has seen the last episode of The Clone Wars. How weird is that? Man, oh man. Watched it last night at midnight. Midnight last night, got on Disney Plus, like at 12 o'clock exactly. And the amazing thing was, is it was up. It was up and ready to go and watch that final episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars. Look at all the wonderful people here on Instagram sharing some May the 4th love with me. The uh, voice of old Obi-Wan Kenobi. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, I might convince with a Jedi mind trick some of my Star Wars family to join me here if they're there watching. But uh, I hope you're all having a blessed, safe day and time. Um, there is so much going on in the world of Star Wars. And a second, I'm gonna add something. Let's see if they come through. Are they coming through? Waiting for them to come through, connecting. Who is it? I sense a dark presence. Kenobi. I should have, I should have aimed higher before. Son of a, no! no! <laughs> I'm so mad at you, man. No. I'm so mad here. I'm wearing my, wearing my Clone Wars Oh, thing. yeah. That is, now Sam Witwer, who is joining me, the voice of Darth Maul, the son, and Starkiller, an amazing Star Wars actor, is wearing a hoodie that is, tell, tell us about that hoodie, Sam. What is that? This is a, I th thank you for asking, James. This is a, an exclusive <laughs> Clone Wars crew hoodie with Ahsoka's wow. uh, helmet pattern. It's a, uh, you know, you know how it is. When you get these things, you're like, <gasps> I know. <laughs> on the crew. I'm on the crew. I know. It is It is the coolest. Somebody just said it's the best thing ever. It is the best thing ever. And mine even fits me, which usually they don't fit me, but mine fits. I got Ahsoka small, you know, and it fits. <laughs> so um, I, I was just saying, I was up at midnight last night watching it, you know, because that's when it became available for everybody. I know we had screeners and stuff, but I waited. Good. Wow. What, what did you think? What was your reaction? I mean, pretty cool, huh? So great. I, I just think that the Ahsoka Tano character, um, whoo, I mean, it's when you think of when you think of Luke Skywalker being the point of view character of the original trilogy, yeah. um, ah Ahsoka is like my favorite point of view character. Uh, you know, the wide eyed looking around, trying to figure out what the galaxy is, you know, that character. Yeah. Yeah. She's kind of my favorite since Luke Skywalker. Um, yeah. No, I just actually. And and Dave have done such a, a tremendous job with that character. I'm so ex I mean, like here here's the bottom line: when yeah. you watch a fight between Ahsoka and someone, and you know she's going to live because you know what happens later. You're so worried, you're like, "No, Ahsoka, look out!" You know? Yeah. And, uh, and you know it's the, a big character. I mean, I don't want to give any spoilers, but the um, the movement of everything that was happening, all the various <laughs> parts and pieces coming together to make that happen. And Maul's story and Ahsoka's story and Rex's story. And we know the other story that's going on because we've seen the movies, you know, so. What story? <laughs> that that Obi-Wan fella and Anakin and all that what? tragedy going on and Padme and uh, all sorts of tragedy happening in other parts of the galaxy. Don't really. spoil it for me. What happens? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, let me ask you that. When was, uh, you know, so like your, do you still remember your first scenes? So when you saw like Revenge of the Sith, did you go to like the midnight screenings or what, you know, how did it happen for you? Well, I've seen it, all of the movies. I, I always make a point of seeing it multiple times in the theater. Yeah, Everything sure. from when they were re-releasing the Star Wars movies back in the late 90s, early, you know, uh, yeah. to the sequel trilogy. I, I, you know, I go a lot, right? <laughs> Funny thing with Revenge of the Sith is my first viewing was not a happy one. Really? Because I had all this it's it's something that happens to me as a Star Wars fan is like you have all this expectation and all this I want this, I want this, I want this, and I think it should be this way. And I watched it and I wasn't into it and then saw it again and saw it again and I was like, Oh, what am I wait, but what am I being given rather than what I want you know, rather, yeah. rather than what I was wanting to see, what yeah. is he giving me? 
And now it's like, I mean, I love that movie. It's so good. I do too. The Revenge, of the, so amazing. Revenge of the Sith is actually one of my favorite <clears throat> Star Wars movies. I know Empire is, is kind of the, the one that everybody holds up, but A New Hope, then Empire and then Revenge of the Sith are kind of my top three, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they might be for me as well. I, I just think Revenge of the Sith, there's, uh, it's, it's so ambitious and so strange <laughs> and so weird. And yeah, I, I'm in, I'm absolutely enthralled and in love with that movie. So, you know, the fact that Clone Wars gets to, you know, that we see Obi Wan check in. Hi, I'm from Revenge of the Sith right now. How's it going <laughs> over in the Clone Wars? I'm dealing with a, a whole other storyline over here. It's so, <laughs> it's so what a great idea. You know? well, yeah, and people asked about the weight of that, I think, for all of us holding the weight of it and the voice work of, of everybody. Ashley's vocal work in this is yeah. just phenomenal. I mean, yours is... So is yours. Saying, well, thank you, but, you know, Kat and Matt and Dee, I mean, forget about it. And even Dave Filoni. Gets, you know, again, we're not talking spoilers here today because I know a lot of people still haven't maybe seen it yet. Right. But even Dave yeah. Filoni is in these last couple of episodes. Look at that. He is. Yeah, he is. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know, James. I, I think I've maybe said something like this to you in the past, but I, I figure uh, today is as good a day as any since the Clone Wars has now finally ended. Um, I'm in love with your portrayal of Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, that well, thank is, you. is so important to all of us. And while he's not the wide eyed, point of view character he is the rock character he is the 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 solid center of the you know he's the gravitational pull that keeps everything spinning for everyone he's the guy that tries to be the rock for everyone and and um i just always thought since before i joined the cast that your portrayal of obi-wan was so charming and fun and and also snarky and you know some someone you know it was funny someone once said to me because i was talking about Young Obi Wan versus old Obi Wan. I mean, yeah, we you know we had just seen a Clone Wars episode, and, and uh, she says he's so sn- snarky. I don't know if I like that. I'm like, yeah, but he's our snarky guy. She's like, oh, good point. He's trash talking the bad guys. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's his thing. That's that's so you know. Yeah, well, and, I mean, I have to give Henry Gilroy and Dave Filoni and all the other amazing writers credit for all of that stuff, but uh, and Dave for finessing it. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you to say. I was I was thinking about it the other day, and I was talking about this on a feed I was doing for JC Reifenberg, who's mm-hmm. got his Scum and Villainy feed going on today, which I think you're a part of as well. Yeah, yeah later on. Yeah. But I was talking about how Dave always very purposefully, I'd say, well, you know, you and might do it. And he'd go, no, no, no. How would you do it? How are you right, doing it? Right. How, you know? yeah. and so I'm very thankful to him for giving me the opportunity to create a version of Obi-Wan that is – lives within this world all his own, you know, and I, I think it's probably the same for you with Maul, even though we, we had little bits and pieces of his vocal things, but he's a whole other character in this and he's a force to be reckoned with. He's the, the Maul that I thought when I first saw Phantom Menace and I thought, oh, this is our bad guy that's going to take us through these next three movies. And then he, that didn't happen. So. Whose uh, fault is that, James? <laughs> Whose fault is that? Well, I blame uh, from, you and McGregor. <laughs> from my point of view, man, I was just hanging out on Abu and you guys started it. That's kind of what I think. But, you know, the, the, yeah, I mean, you and I had very similar jobs in that way in that there were uh, other actor performances that we had to honor before yeah. jumping off in our own direction. And and that was always, yeah, I, you know, I always knew that that was important to you. It was important to me to honor the Peter Serafinowitz. Because for me, growing, you know, when, when Phantom Menace came out, and you would watch those music videos, and there would be the whole fear. Fear attracts the fearful. I was like, "That's a me. That's the perfect voice for that guy." Wow. Yeah. So, so I didn't want to diverge. It, it had to feel like it was the same character, and I know you feel the same way. That's like it's got to feel like the same guy, but then I've got to figure out where I'm doing my own. Yeah, where I can actually, you know, not just be worrying about mimicking somebody. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's it's an art to that. You know, I mean, I spent a lot of my time as voice actor mimicking, doubling right. celebrities. But this was like, I don't want to just be going, well, you would say this or you would say that, you know, so it's. Uh, well, he, he's so, I, James, I think he's just so charming in the club. I really <laughs> think everyone's a charming, charming. And don't ever tell anyone that I said that because. No, <laughs> wait a second. If only it wasn't live in front of all these. <laughs> oh, no. oh. What? <laughs> this was not part of the deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, Oh, but man. yeah, no, he's he's a he's a wonderful, such a wonderful character, and and all you know, it's and it's a lot of expectation because he's already a fan favorite character, mm-hmm. and and you brought 
your James Arnold tailored to him and your, your twinkle and your humor. Yeah. And, and I think it really helps. That's, next time I see you, I'm going to make sure to pay you for these comments, but I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will let you go. Cause I, I think there might be a couple other people trying to get on. And I guess, unfortunately we can only do one at a time here. Cool. cool. But uh, Sam Witwer, Darth Maul, my goodness, people are going to be spending a lot of time today watching and hearing and experiencing you and your amazing work on these. I'm, I'm choking up about to say the final episode of The Clone Wars. Isn't that silly? It, it is. All these years, though, man, I never thought. I have so many fond memories of being in the studio with you. You always lifted my game. Uh, you and Anna and Clancy and Ian, those moments in the studio with you guys are moments I'll never forget. Uh, and I was terrified to work with you guys because you guys were all so good. I was <laughs> no. terrified to work. So. Ah, no. Well, m may the fourth be with you, my friend. And uh, yes, yeah, somebody asked me the other day, do you and Sam actually get along in real life? <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> All right, my brother. You be well. May the force be with you. Watch out for the bad guys, all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Which may be the good guys in your yeah. case. I don't know. It's greater than your own point of view. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Connecting. <gasps> Padme. <laughs> don't tell Anakin. Hello. I thought you needed a little light after that darkness of After all, the darkness, Sam. yeah. <laughs> I wish we could do, like, all of us together, like, on Zoom or something, but we can only I do know. one at a time, so. Well, you know, people will be able to see all of us together on May 8th, May when 8th. we're doing the Clone Wars cast reunion. Oh, well, I don't know. Is that is that known? Do people know about I that? I think so. And I, even oh. if it's not, I sort of feel pretty good about saying it right now. I mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, the show's over. What are they going to do? Fire us? Come on. No. <laughs> Um, well, and it's not official anyway. It's just a little casual something. So, <laughs> is, isn't it weird though? Uh, today, May the fourth, and it's all come full circle. And you know, people keep saying that. What are you all going to do now? It's like, well, let's all remember. I mean, first off, we're all working actors. We work, but right. we've been a family for you know all these years now. Um, so, we're just going to continue to do what we do, which is be family. Yes, so, we yeah. are. And I. Um, I'm not going to stay long because there's so much of the family who wants to come on and, yes, yes, and sure. speak to the fans. And so I just want to say to the fans um, that we love you guys and thank you for being there with us this whole time. It has been such an amazing ride. And um, James knows this about me as a person that I don't really like goodbyes. So yeah. um, I'm refusing that this is a goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a goodbye. I will always have hope. I'm an endless optimist. I believe that we will all be together again, um, working somehow or just, I don't know, doing cons together and having a wonderful <laughs> time and seeing our wonderful fans. And so um, it's an exciting day, amazing yeah. work. Everybody, Ashley, Sam, I mean, amazing. Um, yeah. um, I'm gonna get teary too. So yeah. I'm gonna go <laughs> and just say, I, I absolutely love you. Um, I love, all you guys out there and I love my family that's coming up next and um, wow. may the fourth be with you all always <laughs> thank you senator Bye. is Ahsoka Tano there <gasps> Ahsoka what? did I just accidentally cut cat off no no she she said goodbye oh. she, was, she was she was like I know there's other folks that want to get on the line here and she was getting choked up and she thought it's probably better if I say goodbye so <laughs> Okay, my my delay my feed must have been delayed because I was watching Cat talk. Oh, I see. Then, yeah, yeah. A little too, sorry. I, I appeared. Cat was making me cry. I was, yeah. I was seriously like tearing up as as I was hearing Cat talk. Um, but hi. How are you? This is the one of the weirdest days of our lives, isn't it? I mean, it's like it, it is. This is such an odd roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, I no. I am like, like literally, like right now, like on the verge of tears. Like, a, I'm I'm sad, but then you know I, I, I then I my heart just fills with so much gratitude. Yeah, and I'm so grateful for the past twelve years. Yeah, twelve years, isn't that amazing? You know, I mean, <laughs> well, we've been together for fourteen. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, because it's, it's basically, Clone Wars is as old as my daughter. My daughter's 15, and she was nine months old when I started this whole journey of this version of Clone Wars, and it's just crazy. And then all of us coming together. Uh, I, I don't know about you, I waited to watch the show uh, 
till it was released on Disney Plus. I know we had we had like special screeners, yeah. but I waited and last night at midnight, like on the dot, I went to my Disney Plus and I watched the episode and uh, I ended my day that way, and w- ah. I woke up feeling just. I mean, bravo, Ashley. <laughs> I mean, you guys, uh, so good. Your 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 voice in this is just so powerful and the the timeline of Ahsoka I I mean I just can't I can't put it into words so oh well thank you James yeah oh my God, you're making me cry <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's such a journey so so yeah I mean isn't it a weird day because I don't as I was saying with Kat we've all been together all this time so I don't feel like it's over but it's no no it's not it's not over but I think I mean, goodbyes are just hard, right? Like it is yeah. a goodbye to Clone Wars. And, yeah. you know, that's why it's funny. My, my friends at Nationwide Children's Hospital, mm-hmm. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Right. And they're doing a campaign for Mental Health Awareness Month called Growing Our Gratitude. And mm-hmm. it's actually proven that gratitude and showing gratitude um, boosts your mental well-being. Yes. And it... it literally by showing gratitude can make you healthier and happier. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's funny. That's been on my mind all day. It's like the, the minute I get sad, I, I just instantly like think of things I'm grateful for. And we have so many things to be grateful for in the show, including you, James Arnold Taylor. (laughs) Wow. Because that's very nice. I was merely a Padawan <laughs> when I came into the Clone Wars. Yeah. And um, you have always been a Jedi Knight uh, in, well. in this world. And you've taught me so much. Oh, so well, much. I mean, likewise. I appreciate your kind words about my performance, but a lot of that, most of that, has come from years of watching you and watching D and watching Corey Burton and Matt and Tom and Kat and I've had the best teachers. Yeah. Oh, come on, <laughs> cut it out. Well and and we have this special thing that you and I got to celebrate every year for so many years. You longer than I did with Star Wars Weekends. Um, but you know, seven years I got to experience it with you and we got to host all these beautiful, wonderful events and get to know the fans in ways that we never would have had the opportunity to do before. And so I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful being able to share microphones and stages with you all these years, but also express our our gratitude for Star Wars in a way that we're so fortunate to get that opportunity too. So. Oh yeah. No, I mean, Star Wars weekends. uh, And I, I know you feel the same way. I mean, it truly changed my life. Yeah. Getting to meet everyone down there at Disney, we created like a whole sub community of star wars fans there's star wars yeah. fans and then there's like star wars weekends fans. <laughs> yeah. and um i mean it was incredible yeah. so and i'll always cherish those those years that we got to to spend together oh uh, me too and and always being able to see that growth of ahsoka you know is the one thing i always said at star wars weekends is this is my favorite character because ahsoka is representative of all of us as fans of all of us that want to do the right thing i mean Anakin and Obi-Wan and Yoda, they're, they're amazing, wonderful characters, but they're up almost in this spot that is unreachable. But Ahsoka came in very reachable, you know, because even Anakin came in as a kid, but he was the chosen one. There was all this wrapped around it. Ahsoka came in and people were kind of skeptical. They didn't really know. She had to prove herself. And isn't that how we all are as human beings uh, that want to do the right thing? So you represent every fan of Star Wars with this character. And that's why I think it's so amazing the journey she's taken. I'm not giving any spoilers on this because I know some people may not have seen it yet, but by the end you go, this is where I want to be. And it goes back to your talking about mental health. This is, you know, something I'm a huge advocate for mindfulness and the study of what gratitude can do to the brain. So any and all help I can give or push that along <laughs> too, let me know because that is wonderful work that you're, you're doing with them because man, is it important. Thank you. Well, you know, years ago, I started the hashtag Ahsoka Lives. Uh, and it was purely about, you know, Ahsoka was alive. You know, that's what it was about. And it was the excitement surrounding that. But now I've updated it to be hashtag Ahsoka Lives in all of us. Because that's so true. And you are so right, James. I think, you know, Ahsoka's always kind of been like the eyes of the audience. 
for yeah. clone wars. And, you know, we, we never really pointed out her gender um, past the beginning. She was just one of the gang. Yeah. And yeah. she's an alien with orange skin and Leku. And <laughs> we can all be Ahsoka. Like, we can all relate to her. And I think, you know, we can take what she's taught us from this series and take it into our everyday lives. And so that's why I actually think hashtag Ahsoka lives in all of us is more appropriate. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Okay, good. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> spreading that around. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, so May 4th, you know, we also stumbled into this brand new holiday that we all get to celebrate now, May the 4th. Uh, it's weird. Cause I woke up this morning going, Oh, I guess it's a holiday, isn't it? And, and what an amazing one to, to have with the Clone Wars ending. I don't know. What do you do on May the 4th now? Are there any traditions you've started? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I mean, it's been different every year. I've always celebrated yeah. Star Wars every year. Yeah. But it's been different every year. I mean, I would venture to say this has been the most epic, for sure. Um, yeah, it's been a absolutely. crazy busy day, and I, I know you've received the love. <laughs> I mean, isn't, just, isn't it overwhelming? It kind of is, that's the thing. That's why I thought I would just do this really impromptu and see, and it's so kind of you all to kind of jump on with me just to say a thanks to everybody because it's just, I don't know how. I mean, the amount of requests and people asking and, and the love being poured out. So it's just like, all I can do is say thanks and here's yeah. our friends and we love you all, you know, that's really about it. So yeah, yeah, that's my way of celebrating as well as to look back at what all the fans have given us, so. Well, well. Ditto. Um, thank, thank you to everyone who's watching. Um, and James, thank you for, for letting me crash your live. Absolutely. Well, be well. I'll give my best to David as well and stay safe and all that. Hopefully, I think uh, like Florida is going to be opening up in, in small portions soon. So I hope that happens soon. Yes. And, uh, you know. Today was actually uh, day one of phase Excellent. one of the reopening. So um, I couldn't have picked a better day. <laughs> good so, well we'll see but please give my best to allison and lydia as well i will um hello to everyone watching and may the fourth be with you well thank you ahsoka tono may the fourth be with you as well bye All right. bye <laughs> i think <All> yes <laughs> <laughs> you're sideways oh you don't like that oh i'll, I'll put myself this way <laughs> d we did it how you doing? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, it's got to be for Insta feeds. you got to be on your phone. I didn't know that part. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> we're just we're just two old guys trying to deal with this technology, man. <laughs> Come on. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> so how are you, my friend? I feel good. I, I, I feel actually a little sad, but I'm, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like Christmas Day. We've already opened the presents <laughs> in the past, but it's uh, but what a. Um, what a what a what what a spectacular outpouring of affection uh yeah. fans that it I can't tell you how much how much that means I mean to all of us to all yeah. to have brought in the dropship and to finish it it finished it in such a spectacular and devastating um fully realized way that's just so it's so much what the fans deserve and what the clone wars deserves you know well, I'm sure you heard me saying, but uh, D, your work in this final season, your work in all of the seasons was phenomenal, but in this especially, oh, it's, I, it chokes me up, man. It was so good. What a way to start season seven with the Bad Batch and these amazing new characters. And I like them. I like can those. You just tell us about that, what it's like. Did you do everything um, alone or were you with, you weren't with Matt Wood probably. But yeah, I think I was briefly, although most of the Bad Batch arc, that was recorded when George Lucas was still back, back when we originally recorded it. You so know, most of that was already done and you didn't go back and redo. OK, I, I, I they they changed some of it. There's some plot points and some dialogue that was changed. But most of it was the original stuff yeah. when uh, George Lucas still was directly involved with making it. It's, it's really yeah. the the end of his legacy of direct involvement with Star Wars was that arc. Uh, that's really, thanks for bringing that up. That's a really important it point is. to make. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's such great Star Wars. It's so fun 
uh, and and so fulfilling. It was terrifying to do. I remember <laughs> when we first did it. I was really, it's like ah, this really looks really scary to me. It's it's <laughs> it's bad enough to do a clone centric episode, but then to have these guys who are clones but aren't clones, how yeah. do, do that? I don't know. <laughs> Hold it off brilliantly, you know. I mean, and I almost wonder if it had been released back when it was, if it would have been as accepted in that through the last few years of filmmaking with films like Guardians of the Galaxy and Planet of the Apes and all these really major movies that took chances in new ways, mm -hmm. I feel like it maybe prepped the fans and the audience for what we saw in season seven yeah, as I mean, opposed to six years ago. You, you could be very well right. And in any case, the show reaped the, the technological and artistic benefit of of the evolution of their abilities at Lucas Animation, that yeah. forces that they brought to bear on that were would would be more sophisticated than they would have been at the time. So the the final product is probably better for the wait. Yeah, yeah, it probably is, and it is so. It's it's bittersweet ending, but at the same time, as I've been saying to all of our castmates, it doesn't feel like it's over because we've all been together for so long. You and I see each other in studios all the time as well, but. I don't know. I don't see this as an end. I just see it as a conclusion to a story that needed to be finished. Yeah. But that we'll all still be working in this universe for years to come. Well, I, I think uh, I think Disney and Dave and uh, ha have a really good partnership, and and Disney is is smart, and they're investing in, uh, you know, in taking chances in in really wonderful ways that pay off beautifully, like The Mandalorian, for instance. Yep. And so I, I, I don't think this is the, <laughs> the end of the, the awesomeness of Star Wars that is to come by any stretch. I, I agree. Hey, you know, I, I'm trying to kind of avoid spoilers to a degree, but I think everybody knows that now if they're on any type of social media that these, these episodes kind of start to intertwine with Revenge of the Sith. How was it for you? Uh, somebody was asking me this the other day, just a personal friend going, I, don't, I can't even imagine how it was for D to be living those order 66 moments how was that that was really hard that 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 it was it was very affecting and it was uh it it was really de it's i mean it's devastating it's it's uh it's right up there um with the krell arc um the umbara arc i mean it's just it it's emotionally really tough i uh, i gotta say it to especially especially to to have because I, I relate to these characters. I mean, yeah. you know, you don't usually do that as a voice actor, you know, to become so personally involved. But for me, I've always, I couldn't help but feel that with these clones because there's nothing, there's nothing um, comedic or eccentric about them. They're humans. And, yeah. and the light that they face and this uh, kind of secret Machiavellian descent that they're all a part of and yet, mostly unaware of is is very yeah. tragic and it, and it really it makes me sad it makes me it weighs on me and yeah have these moments like the umbar arc or with the fives arc or with that moment with uh you know rex turning on ahsoka i mean it's just it's it's a devastating moment and it reads that way i think to the fans who are so fully invested in these characters now with yeah. all the, the 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 chapters that we've brought to them with the Clone Wars, that the impact of it is 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 pretty profound. It really is, and your um, your love of this has always come through in your work. I think um, most people probably know this. You are, I believe, the one actor that has voiced more characters in Clone Wars than any other. Not just the clones. <laughs> you are so many other characters in this, from the uh, the Geonosian Queen to oh, I love uh, Bosk. And I mean, so many characters that I have got to be in the studio and be privileged to watch you come up with and perform it. Because people don't uh, maybe realize the amount of stuff you do to create sounds and voices. You're an absolute amazing person to watch. Thanks, man. The feeling the feeling's very much mutual. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. Privilege to have them sprinkle me throughout that universe in other ways other than just the clones. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's well done. Now, I know that Instagram only lets me do an hour and I'm coming up on that. And I don't want us to lose our, our time here, but is there anything that you wanted to say to the fans? I am just seeing tons of little things going up the scroll here. Of say, the, the most popular one is D, we love you. Ah. So just know how loved you are by the fans of Star I, Wars. I love you guys. I loved, I, I, I might, I'm, I'm, 
I, I mean, we're still on pins and needles about celebration. Yeah. Where, where we get to see firsthand uh, how, how the show touches uh, so many lives. And it's such a wonderful thing to see. Um, but uh, th that will find some way to come back. Maybe it's not going to be this year or maybe it'll be online. I don't know. I hope it is some way. But yeah. there's just there's so much more wonderful Star Wars coming, um, even though that this this is a this is a sad, uh, spectacular finish uh, uh, to a, a dark ending to this chapter in the middle of the of the mythology that there's just so much more wonderful Star Wars coming. So take heart, fans, take heart. <laughs> That's right. Now, I'm also seeing a lot of requests for us to do a little voice here, at least. So maybe we, we end our time together, Rex, with a little Obi-Wan and a little Rex. What do you say, my friend? Yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. Of course. Well, I know the force is strong with you. I'm sure you'll turn up on some other series of Rebels or something. Well, Rex is not gone. We know that. <laughs> I'm going for some, some Jupiter with my boy. That's right. That's the part I love is that we know that storyline. So now people can go back and rewatch Rebels and watch those arcs with Rex and Ahsoka in a all, whole new way. All the way to Endor. All right. All right, my friend. May the fourth be with you. I love you. And I am so grateful to get all this time with you. Thanks for, for joining. And I'm glad we figured it out. Uh, <laughs> there he is. That's me as Awa in 1977. Uh, oh, thank you, D. Thanks so much, man. See ya. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Best to all of you. Wow. Okay, I think I'm going to get cut off by Instagram here. Um, but uh, what a great time. All of you that have loved Clone Wars all these years and loved Obi-Wan and Anakin and Padme and Ahsoka and Rex and even the bad guys, Darth Maul and the Emperor and all of them. What a joy. You know, I started as a little kid, seven years old, loving Star Wars. I never could have imagined that I would spend 18 years of my life ensconced in the world of Star Wars and get to meet and work with some of the most tremendous actors on the planet and some of the nicest people you'll ever meet as well. And so talented. What a joy and, and what an amazing blessing I have had being a part of all of this. <clears throat> this certainly isn't goodbye. It's just thanks to all of you as Star Wars fans. All right, may the force be with you. Be back soon. <laughs>